course, you guys know I'm going to address the real elephant in the room. Of course, I am wearing my Black Panther shirt. If you guys do not know me because you are just now subscribed to this channel or just now tuning into me, I'm a huge, 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 and I don't want to say this word right now, but I'm a huge die hard Marvel fan, like straight up Marvel fan. Like clearly I have a Black Widow bag, but I do have other Marvel incorporated looks so please go check those out but that's not what this is about right now i'm a huge marvel fan and it's been really hard and for those of you who know me personally i will be the first one to admit black panther is not my favorite marvel movie marvel cinematic universe movie it's not my favorite mcu movie um and it's not my favorite marvel character in general but the way they and i'm already crying the way they portrayed black panther or the way that chadwick boseman brought black panther to life is by far absolutely amazing like marvel doesn't really get it wrong when it comes to picking out their characters to portray the comic characters and bringing them to life if you guys understand what i'm saying everything he's done in the marvel cinematic universe it's been crazy but chadwick boseman as a person in general his acting roles has have been legendary in general like I didn't think that it was going to hit me that hard but when I say I literally was getting ready to flip over my whole desk with all my makeup and computer and everything on it I was getting ready to flip it over I was so upset like I found the news found out the news it was like 10 or 11 at night and I did not care if my neighbors could hear me I was pissed off I was like crying I was like screaming I was just like irritated that like 2020 has been such a trash year and to see that man fight and we not know he was fighting and his circle by far the best circle you can ever have for nobody to say anything for him to be recording six or seven videos while he was going through all of that in a four-year span is it, like that's that's a strong strong man like i i know a um a breast cancer survivor and she is the sweetest person i have known she was the first person that kind of made me feel like home at my you know in my current job where i am because i am far from my family and she was the first person to make me feel like my new place was at home and she, to see her fight daily to see her every day at work and to see her fight is just like Oh my gosh, she's such she's such a strong person. And when Chadwick passed from cancer, the first thing I could think about was her. Um, and I'm just like, there are so many strong people that we don't even know are fighting a fight of battling cancer. Like there are so many strong people who hide it and who make it seem like everything's okay. And like their closest circle are the only ones that really see them break down or go through chemo or those times where they're tired and stressed out and just like it's just like the burden is on them but they know they're not alone 2020 has made me realize that life cannot be taken for granted and the people we have on earth cannot be taken for granted we really lost the king we really lost a great one we really lost a great actor not even in the marvel world um we lost a great individual like in general like jackie robinson thurgood marshall james brown t'challa 43 is so young and he, like i know he had so much more to just pump out and just like so much more that he wanted to do and not even in the you know the celebrity hollywood star life but in his you know in his charity life and his personal life and everything so my heart goes out to his family the bozeman family and i wish them nothing but peace in this trying time and though i am a marvel fan i don't want them to rush trying to figure out how to fix the black panther 2 movie um and how to fix Black Panther in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Let that, let that, you know, let that rest for a while. 
Um, I know I have no say whatsoever in it, but as a fan and I've just been seeing like instantly people are like, oh, they can't do, they, you know, they need to do, like they have to replace them this way, they have to do this, they, I'm just like, how about we just take his work that he did do for what it's worth and just honor that. We don't need to jump in on the, here's what they have to do and if they don't do this then I'm not gonna watch it, if this and this, it's just like, let's just take the time to acknowledge and honor and praise him for the work that he did do and let's just not take life for granted in general like there are so many celebrities and so many you know hall of famers and all that that passed in the last month alone but let alone this year and those people, of course, are on the spotlight, but there are so many people who have lost individuals in their family that don't get seen or don't get, you know, reposted and love from the whole world and everything. It's kind of like it's a family thing, but don't take life for granted. Don't take the people that you can see on a daily basis for granted. Like, if I could see my family more than what I do, especially the way 2020 is going, I I would probably tackle them like every day. <laughs> like I will probably tackle them every day because 2020 is just that terrible of a year and you just don't know when the last time you're going to say I love you to somebody um, or goodbye. You know, me and my family, we try not to say goodbye. We try to say see you later. See you soon. Talk to you soon. We try not to say goodbye. And seems like 2020 has been making a lot of people say goodbye to family to loved ones to friends neighbors to colleagues whatever to celebrities and we finally made it to September still more of 2020 that we can make great there really is I'm such a softy but I could not wear this black panther shirt without addressing it because this is the reason why i wore it because as a marvel fan I, I gotta show reverence i gotta show honor to t'challa but to the world chadwick boseman like so yeah yeah Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. I really hope you are resting in paradise. I really hope you are. Yeah. And that, I love you guys. Peace.